Students, uh, greetings to all. I am Dr. S. Aguilin, Professor, Department of Physics, Coimbatore Institute of Technology, Coimbatore. And now, uh, let us see the procedure of uh, doing the experiment to determine the specific resistance of the material of uh, uh, this wire uh, in which uh, it is bound over at a frame. Uh, this is the, uh, the wire for which we don't know the resistance of the wire and we have to determine the resistance of the wire and the specific resistance of the material of the given wire. That is the experiment. Uh, of course, we know the uh, circuit diagram of the experiment. And as per the circuit diagram, uh, the wires uh, have been connected uh, with this, uh, uh, in this circuit. This is the, uh, the standard resistance of unknown. This is the unknown value of the resistance, X. And this is the rheostat. And this is the power supply, uh, 6 volt power supply. And this is the 2 volt power supply. And uh, this 6 volt power supply, standard resistance and coil and rheostat are being connected in series according to the circuit. And the 2 volt power supply, positive and negative terminal, have been given to the A and B terminal of the potential meter. And this is a, a DP DT uh, switch, the 6 way junction uh, switch, for which uh, the terminal 1 and 2 is connected to the standard resistance and terminal 5 and 6 uh, are connected to unknown uh, resistance and uh, terminal 3 is connected to the terminal A of the potential meter wire and the terminal 4 is connected to uh, the gala meter and uh, also connected to the high resistance uh, and the jacket. So this is the uh, circuit uh, uh, of the actual uh, experiment. To start with uh, the knob of the rheostat is kept at a particular position so that uh, the current, a particular amount of current I shall be flowing uh, through this uh, uh, series part of the circuit that is flowing uh, through the standard resistance and uh, the unknown resistance. To check the correctness of the circuit, uh, we keep the jockey of the first wire and also the last wire so that uh, uh, it executes the two opposite side deflection in the galvanometer. Now the circuit is uh, functioning proper, properly. The switch of uh, the DPDT is uh, kept uh, in a position such that uh, it is uh, uh, pointing towards R so that uh, the potential dropped across the standard resistance is now fed to the uh, potential meter wire and now we have to find out the balancing point. Now, uh, now the balancing point is determined, of course this is the balancing point. Now, at the balancing point, uh, uh, there will be a null deflection in the galvanometer. Now, the balancing uh, uh, length is determined and that is uh, taken as L. And now, the switch is uh, uh, changed so that uh, the switch is changed to the position X so that the uh, potential dropped across X now is fit to the pot uh, potential meter. Now, once again, the balancing point has to be determined and now, So therefore, this is the balancing length, the balancing point, uh, so that it gives uh, the null deflection in the galvanometer, and the corresponding uh, length is measured as uh, L2. Uh, therefore, uh, we have determined uh, the balancing length L for the potential dropped across uh, the standard distance using the potential meter, and also we have determined uh, the balancing length L for the potential dropped across uh, the unknown distance, yes for the same portion of the rheostat. Of course, this is the first trial is over. Now, the rheostat position is changed uh, to the next uh, position, so that uh, now the current uh, will be changed uh, fl uh, flowing uh, through this uh, series part of the circuit. Uh, and once again, uh, the balancing length L1 is determined uh, keeping uh, the switch across R. And uh, similarly, uh, the balancing length L2 should be determined uh, keeping the switch across X. This is a second trial. And also keeps uh, the rheostat in the uh, another position uh, so that uh, a new current will be flowing uh, through this uh, part of the circuit. Uh, so that once again, uh, keeping the standard uh, switch across R so that uh, uh, the balancing length L1 is determined and keeping the switch across X, the balancing length L2 is determined. 
and so therefore uh, this trial uh, can be extended up to uh, five or six uh, uh, trials. Now we have to go for the calculation. We know that the current I is flowing in this uh, series part of the circuit. The potential drop across the standard distance is IR. That IR is directly proportional to the balancing length L1. And the potential drop across the unknown distance is I into X. That I into X is directly proportional to L2. Therefore, IR is directly proportional to L1 and IX is directly proportional to L2. Therefore, we can have the uh, relation IR by IX is equal to L1 by L2. And cancelling uh, uh, the current I values of the numerator and the denominator and interchanging uh, the value of X, we can have the formula X is equal to L2 by L1 into R. And here, we know the balancing length L1 for the position towards R and the balancing length L2 for the switch position towards X. And substituting uh, the value of L1 and L2, along with uh, the standard resistance value r is equal to 1 ohm in the formula, we can have, we can determine the unknown value of the resistance uh, x. That is the first trial. And similarly, you can calculate uh, the x value for the remaining trials. And finally, you can uh, find out the average value of x. Next, uh, we have to uh, find out uh, the radius of this uh, uh, wire. and we will be giving a, a sample wire and using the screw catch you can find out the, the radius of the wire. Then you need to find out the, the length of the wire so that you can unscrew these uh, screws and find the length of this wire or otherwise uh, a thread uh, may be used to wind over the uh, coil and after uh, marking that and unwinding the thread we can find out the uh, the length of the uh, thread in turn uh, the length of the wire. Therefore, we know the length of the wire also and the radius of the wire. And the specific resistance of the material of this unknown wire is given by the formula rho is equal to pi r square x by L. And we know the average value of x from the uh, first table column. And after determining uh, the radius of the wire using the screw catch, we know the value of R and after finding the length L, substituting all these values in the formula, rho is equal to pi r square x by L, we can find out uh, uh, the specific resistance of the material of this uh, wire. The result uh, can be written like this. The value of resistance of the given wire, x is equal to such ohms. And the value of uh, the specific resistance of the material of this uh, given wire, rho is equal to uh, the calculated value uh, such ohm meter. So far, uh, we have learnt uh, uh, how to find out uh, the resistance of this uh, unknown wire and the specific resistance of the material of the unknown wire using uh, this particular circuit, using the potential meter. Thank you. Thank you.